Hey, hey there, Joy to the World friends and family. This is Joy with Joy of the World welcoming you to your Fiery Friday. And I'm like, Fiery Friday, what? What's up? And they're like, girl, we're going to fire it up. We're ready to fire up this new season heading into the Halloween moon. And irregardless of when you tune into this, just know it's anything moving forward. These are timeless reads and an energy session all around. But at this moment that this is being recorded, we're heading into the Halloween blue moon. And it's not just for that, y'all. And you can think, ooh, moon magic and all these other things. No, energy, the planets are spinning around us all the time anyway. So we have a Pittman card. This was sitting out preparing the space for this. And they talked about when Mercury, well, when Mars went retrograde and now Mercury going retrograde, that we had already entered this flume, this slide, this transition, fully taking us into the new era of air into 2021, making that transition that if you got on the rod, you're already moving on over. And in this case, moving on up. If you haven't tuned into the Aquarius read, you could definitely take a listen to that because I believe we're the whole Zodiac. I don't know who gets their, their Zodiac chart and just sees one wedge of the pie, right? There's a whole big plate there serving a bit of you up with your delicious fun. So and that's what we're supporting here is to take that look, that peek into the wholeness of who you are and begin to divine it and be able to divide it, not to separate, but to bring yourself together, to gain the understanding, to be able to process it, to chew it, to move it through and to again, um, to get to know yourself. All right. Know thyself. But this is very much um, a hallmark of what Aquarius was doing is they're putting us back together. Okay, and they say they're calling this the age of Aquarius and Saturn will be moving into Aquarius. Um, so we have a lot of stabilizing going into adjusting with the unknown just beyond our perception into the purity of our heart along with our mind. And that's where we have this card coming in, which look, it's some moon magic, right? But we're talking about your mind here. This is the snow moon, the pure moon. This is what we have coming in more than a blue moon. And what snow and winter do is they create the innocence, the purity of heart, the clean slate of the mind, the being able to transcend, to move beyond, and to see things with fresh eyes. That's a lot of what you have going on here. And that will begin to cause the seeds of your divinity to rise up because we have our de destiny. Oh, there we go. Our destiny is the red thread. That is the thing that was created for us to step into. And our divinity is when we begin to align with it, when we begin to know ourselves, when we begin to tune our streams, when we begin to fire it up, baby, fire yourself up. Don't you turn off yet. Stay here. We're just getting warmed up. These energy sessions help you level up and they tune you just like you tune an instrument, just like you tune a piano. And it keeps you sharp because if you're out there living your life, you need tune. And the more we play, the more we live, the more we need our tune. And this tune has to do with the trees of life. Some of you have been cut off, left out, used up, left for dry, left for dead, separated, removed yourself. And they're like, it's time to be restored, to open your heart, to open your mind, to fully surrender. And this isn't like a falling forward. It's an opening wide of yourself, surrendering to allowing that freedom to pass through your body, of allowing that softness to merge with your spirit and the breath to flow flawlessly through you, that you feel led and unted and drawn into this. And I'm like, into what? I don't know. But see, there's a little card. I don't know how much y'all can see here, but I, I channel energy, whatever. Um, but this is what was coming in today. And this is like a flume, a celebration of life. I have a Hungarian friend and over there on birthday cakes, they put what they call a torch and it literally lights up just like that. It's almost like a flare can do say, Hey, incoming, here we are here. We're over here. Come find us. Well, this carries the message of divine timing is abounding is all around us. It's around us all. Okay. Not just it's more, they want us to examine it, not with the eyes of difficulty, not seeing the squares, not seeing the, oh, Saturn, Jupiter, they don't like it. Yes, they do. They each know their place, okay? They have, they're complementary. They don't compete, okay? And that's one unique thing about having studied massage is you need an agonist and an antagonist. An agonist is the one that's doing the work, thus agony, right? So if your bicep is lifting, your tricep has to resist. So that's where Saturn steps in. It's the juxtaposition that allows for the flex, the, the lifting of the hand, the drawing of things towards you. And you're talking about opening this key. 
I don't know. Everything's all clean when we start. That way I can grab and go when I'm sitting at this counter. Ooh, they're stuck together. Okay, we got your soul and your mind. They're stuck together. Let's see what's going on here. Waxing crescent six the path, but six to the eight, six to the eight. It seems like you're you're missing. You're leaving yourself out. You've you've been leaving yourself out of the equation, friend. Leaving yourself out of the equation. And remember, it talks about know thyself. That as you know thyself, the seeds of destiny begin to await of, of your divinity, of choosing that destiny, of not realizing uh, that you could choose it yourself, that you can choose to be this, that you don't have to see yourself the way that life, not life, but situations have reiterated to you, the examples that have been proven to you, the proof that has been put there to say, you know, this is all you'll ever be. This is how it always works out. This is how things work for me. This is my life. That's relegating yourself. That's limiting yourself. At that point, you are that dead branch all cut off. These are your mindsets, friend. And here you've chosen to go within and to know that you have the choice to be divine, to be divinely connected to this greater world, the world beyond the veil, the world beyond your perception into the fullness of your mind and to surrender into that. Now, when you surrender into that, that's when you begin to see the role that you play in this, what you are here for. When you know who you are, you can begin to then truly know what you are here for. You filling up. That's what I can see. Mm -hmm. You're here to connect heaven and earth, friend. It doesn't matter that you're not perfect that you've missed a few things and there's one major misstep that you're holding your finger on. You're like, there was a major mishap that how can I forget that? How can I let that go? I don't know. That could be what this is about. So let's take a look here. And then we still have that. Build yourself up. Let yourself restore. You, I mean, you've been consumed. There's nothing left to give. That's the thing. You've been you've been basking and sitting in this so long that there's nothing left. You've let go of everything of who you are. They're asking you to remember. To remember who you are. When you remember, you heal and you anneal this. This opening. This portal. This gateway. Ah, your mouth, baby. Mm -hmm. Speaking them fine words, the words of life over yourself, the words of mystery, the words of joy, the words of abundance. I like that for you, friend. Um, so here we have 26 protection coming in and this is like what was going on underneath. Can you see if you begin to see yourself as this like dead and used up, cut off, isolated, alone, never going to be included, everybody else having the good old time and you've had it difficult that that brings out this image of you. Okay. Bitter and sweet, bitter and sweet. Now this is the thing. That's a reaction. This is who you really are. Okay. You don't have to portray yourself as anything else. And, and no more blinding yourself, no more bruising yourself, darkening your life and, and choosing to be separated. You're talking about so many things there and it's beyond words, okay? It's beyond words. So let's go ahead and we're going to look. We're going to look at the true heart. Mm, tennis swords. I was like, we ain't doing the Marielle at the bottoms of the tennis swords. But no, they were really saying, don't do Marielle. But it's the ten of swords. Yes, I know. But we be swords up in here sometime. But see, that's that moon mind. That's this old stuff that gets you. It's got gotcha you here. But you can step in and choose to see this. Or you can choose to see this. All right? This is up close and personal in the way it's been for a minute. But this is if you just let your mind... Look a little bit further beyond through your perception, through the eyes of your soul, and you'll see this. Let's see. That is this. Okay. Can you see? Can you see? This is almost your, your like, like an allergic reaction to all that backstabbing that you've been through. All right. We're just going to lay those up there together. I don't know what we're walking through here, but I feel like we're in training camp or something. You're working me out. Why are you working me out, friend? What What is going on here? Because sometimes we'd rather try and change the whole world around us than adapt into who we really are. To adapt, you're saying adapt and adopt a new philosophy, a new way of seeing things. Because that's risky. You could get hurt. I see you're just trying to shuffle it and slide it right away. We got dark and light right there. We got dark and light right there. Where are we going first? We got eight of cups, seven of cups. 
You're talking about walking away into oblivion. When I want you to walk into your feelings, to walk into your power, to walk into your strength, to embrace yourself and the divine the divine light of who you are, the divine hallmark of who you are. Yes, those things we've been through, they might have marked us. Okay. But we can move on from that. We don't have to continue to carry the wounds themselves, right? They should heal up and become scars. So let's see what we got going on here. And that's the eight of discs. Staying in the anonymity, in the shadows, in this thing, meanwhile, nurturing in your own heart, in the energies, in the world, connected with the cosmos, all these beautiful things, and staying under that shroud. That's a lot of what's going on here is the shroud of the mind, of, of feeling unworthy, of feeling unlovely. I mean, man or woman, you don't feel lovable or beautiful or masterful or magnificent. You just still see that one little chip, that one little flaw. And they're asking you to remember who you are and what you're here for. And that heals it all. That heals it all. It's like a skip and a broken record, a skip and a broken record, because we're trying to move forward and you just keep spinning me around one more time and taking me right back there. And you're making my words get sucked away from me. It's very interesting just as you hit these. You hit these. You tried to hide it in the shadows. That looks so much like this card. You hit it in the shadows. But this has to do with your skills. This has to do with your abilities. You got some of them buried. You're not wanting to handle it. You're still wanting to think you've been left out in the cold. That's what you're looking at. You're sitting on a gold mine, friend. Let me write that down. You wouldn't believe it, but people only click on these for certain things. So I'm like, if you said it, there we go. You're sitting on a gold mine and that's you. That's your talents. That's your abilities. That is something that is innate to who you are. So we're going to find out this is the shadowy card and it's hiding your light. Okay. So let's look at the shadowy card. Mm -hmm. Bondage. This is not good karma. You exchange something good for something that is idolatry. And idolatry means you want something that in you, okay? You're paying a price for something that, that won't ever bring fruition. It won't bring reward. It won't bring satisfaction. It's not this. It's like you're trying to, to be a different flavor, a different instinct, a different color. When, when this is who you are, ignore that there. Okay, look at this beauty. Look at this amazingness. And you're like, no, I love it like this. And this is more of who I am. And and uh, it's like life is going, don't you see? Do you see what I see? Christmas is coming, baby. Do you see what I see? Do you hear what I hear? A star. A star. A star. When you step out of this and you lead forward, there's 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 a hush of mystery and wonder that just silence the whole cosmos and they're listening. You're an initiator of this change. This is not just for you. This is the world. Okay. Beginning to see it with the eyes of the stars, the eyes of remembering, the eyes of love, the eyes of connecting heaven and earth, knowing that hope, faith, and love. You are the faith. You are the substance. Okay, friend? Hope is that magic. It's the starlight that comes in through us that causes us to continue to believe even when evidence shows us otherwise. Okay. So we cast this down and in our heart and our mind, we remember this. Okay. This divine one, this pure snow moon, the pure heart, the beginning again. And this has to do with this like desolation. The um, Look at this. Look at the reiteration. Can you see all of them in here? And this is powering up to put life on these bones, to put flesh on these bones, to breathe your divinity, your creative power into the world around you. That's what you're talking about here. See those seeds? Breathing into life around you, giving it the power to rise up and to be raised up. When you agree, hands, help is going to come along. You're not alone. You're not alone. One word. Okay. One word. Yes. That's, that's all you need to utter. That's all that needs to be said. 
So remember, this is your light. Let's take a look. Ooh, eight of swords. This is like, you're talking about when Lilith marries Pluto. So there's this position on our chart called Black Moon Lilith, and it's like the secret society, the things hidden from society, like the stuff people don't talk about, but everybody thinks about or goes through or whatever, so it can perpetuate cycles like this because no one's sharing the truth or the revelation. Or if we look closely, can you see the stars? That there's still promises, even in the wound, even in what has gone on, that there's life beyond it. There's life beyond it. That this is when you can X out. This is when you can get out. You don't have to continue through the full cycle. You don't have to continue on to the 10. You don't have to tolerate and continue to go round and around and around and say, that chip in my mirror, that chip in my mirror. And they're like, no, remember. Remember you're loved. Remember you're divine. Remember we are here for you. Remember you are a gold mine and you're sitting right on top of it. All we desire is for you to give us permission to open this up, to join you in this. Life will not work against you and it will not. Life even has the keys to your door, but won't let itself in. Life knocks. Life knocks and waits for you to open. Are you gonna open? Are you ready to let go of this bondage to shame? Bondage to shame, okay, so you're asking for I haven't had these out in a minute. The Shaman Oracle. Are you going to? Your bondage to shame. And this is in the unseen. They're telling me two more. They don't want the bottom. Okay, that's funny because this past week has been take from the bottom, take from the bottom. That one didn't want to let go. All right. So... You're going to let go and you're like, there's precious stuff here. There's precious stuff here. Well, generally to get what we think is precious is based on our perception at the time. Do you see this? Okay. And that's what you draw onto you. And the thing is, is there's something beyond. There is something greater. There is something more divine, beautiful, planned for your prosperity, your regeneration, your restoration, your life abundant. And so we come in with the Sorcerer 48. Restoring order, connecting to, we could say like the laws of physics, the laws of the universe, the divine, the divine order. Where is that? Mm. Yeah. Some of the divine order going on here. And that divine order you're letting me know is talking about your chart. Letting this power, this support come forward for you. Because in this sense, this Eight of Cups is the dividing of the waters. It's no longer like feeling like you have to walk away from something because you've been unloved. This is an invitation into being celebrated, into being manifested, into knowing who you are, into this field of dreams that as you discover yourself, you realize that there are other needs out there. If you haven't seen the Lorax, it's like the Trefula trees. You know, you finally go into a world and you realize, wow, there are other Trefula trees. There are other people from Jupiter, people of expansion, people of connection to the planets, people who see life in this color, in this shape, in this form. And the sorcerer is like, yes. Yes, it's time for you to know that because this has a lot to do with this Black Moon Lilith energy. It is deep and it's become this shroud around your head and your mind. And you didn't know it was here to show you to reveal your beauty, okay? You thought it was here to review, review, <laughs> to review your flaws, to reveal your flaws, to accentuate them. They're asking me to remind you, it's just a matter of time, you are the diamond from the core center of the earth, all right? Divine timing is around us all. It is right now. Life is lining up. Let life play with you. Let life join you in this freedom song. Let it awaken you unto, unto what? 
Okay, so I go to pull and they're already saying that one. That's not what they want, okay. Well, that one is, but the two that we're trying to crawl out, you're like, that is definitely not what we want. You're starting to be clear, I like that friend. Hey, you're waking up, there we go, there we go. So the one that went to turn first is the world. Dreamweaver, step forward, Dreamweaver. Step forward and show us your world. Be unashamed, shed the shame. I'm good. I'm like getting insulin now. I'm like, shed the shame, friend. You are loved here. You are appreciated here. You are embraced here. It's not like when, then, when you get all together, then we love you. you. I see this when I look at you. I see this. I see this. I see this. I see this. I see the majesty of who you are. I see the magic in who you are. I see the power and the potential of your freedom coming forth. I see your passion and your life force still burning. I see your faithfulness. Having been left out in the cold, and you made something beautiful that I see your faithfulness. I see your hopes, those sparks of life, the forgiveness, the power of forgiveness that you have, that you haven't even given yourself credit for because you keep looking at the one thing that's too hard for me. And that's why help is on the way. Help is on the way. Life is ready to love you. This invitation, this coming down is for you, friend. They're parting the waters for you, making a way for you to be loved and embraced and celebrated. There's room for you in this world. There is a place in this world for you and it is right under your feet. You are not a mistake. You are meant to be here. You're born on purpose. And for more than just what you bring and what you do, it's because of who you are. It's because of this beautiful, pure heart that you still remain and you didn't even know this was an option because you were still loving and showing up and believing even with this. I pray you see this. I pray you allow this to come forth for you right now in this time for all of us. A torch, a celebration, a happy birthday cake. What? Because today's a new day, friend. Let's celebrate. Call it your birthday. Call it whatever. And one day I may tell you all the story behind joy to the world. Okay? But that's the stream weaver, the one from outer space, from beyond the realm of the planets, who speaks this, this crazy mess that stirs people up and brings in abundant peace, powerful peace, peace everlasting, peace abounding, that brings youthfulness to the elderly, that brings life and order to the chaos. You just can't have me so pop pop them down, y'all. Like I'd be like taking the cosmos over here. All right, so let's take a look. So what is the sorcerer is wanting to tell us? What is here in this first card that came out? I love it, y'all. Okay, it's called the Uncommon Tarot. There she is, Queen of Coins. She's just laughing at me. She's like, hee, 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 joy. All right. He's like, the whole reason you got this deck is for me. For me to show up and to show up now. And I love how it's reiterating like this shield, this compass, this like um, bank vault. We're opening the bank vault now. Your bloodborne right, your birth right, your place, your hallmark, your latitude and longitude on this planet. You're meant to be here now, here today in this magic. That's why you survived. That's why you made it. Yeah, I don't, I don't care. You know what? I, I don't care about that. I see this. And that's why we're here together. That's the power that this channel is affording us is to come together in love because together we're better. And wherever two on earth agree, it is done. And that is heaven coming down to earth. This is you being reconnected to yourself so that you can remember that you can look in the eyes of another and know you are loved. You are appreciated. Thank you for being here. I mean that. I mean that. So let's see. What, what's the emperor? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Okay, emperor. That is this sorcery. This emperor, now I love him because look, it's so cash. Just all cash, all up in this earth, been through things like, he's saying like, you think I care about that? It don't bother me in the least. And this is your emperor self. This is your truth coming forward and speaking. And this is it stepping in the face of this devil going, you let my people go. You let them go. Dream weaver. She's straight up here with him. They they just like divine love. And she's weaving in that bull, exchanging you back, getting back the precious treasure from this bondage and weaving you into the tapestry of life because you're meant to be here. You have gifts to share. You have beauty. The things that you thought were your marks are your hallmarks. 
They're your magnificence. And he's all like, mm hmm that is right. Tell it straight up, sugar. That is what is going on. See, all we got is this strand of beauty, our wisdom around our necks. That is our crowning glory. That is what suits you, friend. Okay? So don't you worry what you have to offer, what you have to bring. What you have is yourself. What we seek is you. What the earth longs for is your heartbeat and your footstep on this planet, okay? She is divining him in. So anyways, his message in this is he is not the emperor. He's the empress. Now you have to hear that. That is I-M-P-R-E-S-S. -S. He is here to impress, to mark, to hallmark, to stamp, to seal. Sign, seal, deliver. It's yours. It's yours. What's yours? your gold mine, your treasury, your inner workings of your lower chakras. That's where your goldness comes from. That's where your intimacy, your divine connection, your power and your passion come from. And that is what you show our world. Those are the cups of life, your, your vividness, your expressiveness, your ambition, your excitement, your innocence, your sweet simplicity and your pleasure, man or woman. Let those words roll on in you, baby. I love you. I love you. I just want to see if there's anything else that wants to speak here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sugar, sugar, sugar. <laughs> this is scorpionic energy. It is actually, uh, what are these? I forget. I love them so much. The emanations. I, uh, angel. Whatever. They're like, just let us talk. Do I see you right there? But it's about the I amness, recognizing who you are and standing in that power. And he's like got all steamy eyes up and you communicate that knowledge of I know who you are. You know who you are. Trust who you are. Let go of this shame. All right. Embrace your beauty, your power, not even just potential, what you possess, who you are. What makes you happy? What makes you tick? What juices you up? What gets you excited? What causes you to fall silent and surrender and wonder? Surrender and wonder. Fires you up, baby. Mm -hmm. He's launched you out into this world. You shaking the whole world. That world be quaking. That world be quaking. And oh, we come in with chesed. I love it. This is talking about divine peace here. It's called the right hand of empathy. So it's the action, showing yourself love. Not just talking about forgiving yourself and all that. Remembering what you love. Taking action on that. Unearthing, because often that is what is the gold mine. This is what brings you pleasure, which causes you to have ease. When you begin to hear, mm, ah, ooh, wow, boom, blam, coming out of you, that is when you ding, 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 ding. X marks the spot. You're on the treasure. You are on the treasure. And look at that. X is marking the spot of your heart. Your worldwide wonder, friend. You have the power over that plutonic energy, the power over the Lilith. Those aren't things that are disgusting or wrong or shameful in any means. They're beautiful. And when you see what others see, you can begin to see the pattern in it, the majesty in it, the beauty in this and who you are and it not only shapes your destiny you begin to shape the world around us and other people as well so that's what we have going on here and it's pointing inward it's just standing behind the story it's like it's blocking your feet it's blocking your feet it's blocking your beauty you're standing behind the story they're talking about let go of that shroud, that story. That's what that's what's still encasing you here. Because in this case, you didn't turn to stone like Medusa did. The the um your I amness, your amnios, your energy around you, which is how we create, we could say manifest, but there's this this um energy around us called the amnios. And it's like plasma, right? It is vibrate and affected by not even just what we speak, but how we think. And this is what wants to begin to come in. And I see it dawning back here. So bring your impossible dreams. Bring them to this channel. Bring your whole self for it. Go dig in, in the back of your mental closet and be like, well, I never thought that would happen for me. Bring that one on up. Because I see this world glowing up going ding, ding, ding. That is what we're aiming for here. And they're saying what the giveaway. They're like, Joy, that is exactly what we're aiming for. 
We are aiming for those treasuries. We are aiming for those delicious dreams of yours. That is what is being exalted and offered and lifted up here together. Okay? That is why we're here together to create. What are we creating? 61 water. Mm, molecules of life. Our essence. Without water, there would be no life here on this planet. We're talking about the great fertile seed. They talk to me about seeds all the time. The seed, the great fertile seed is water. Water your world, water your words. And not even, like we just said, it's not even what you just speak, it's what you think in your amnios. That's what's needing to break off around you. I've heard it say, get rid of thinking, thinking. But in this case, you want us just to remember our beauty, remember our divinity, and to remind yourself often. And that's why this channel's here if you need to tune in. I tune in. I tune in. I'm just the microphone. I'm not the messenger. I'm the microphone. So I have to step back in to listen myself. And I level up and have these energy sessions as well so we can walk along together in this bright, new, bold, beautiful world where you are celebrated, where you are enjoyed, where we get to appreciate the beauty that you are, the majesty that you are, man or woman. It doesn't matter because beauty means your insides and your outsides be lining up and you can celebrate and you can radiate and you can be divine and you can shine. And then you begin to realize you are an offering, not a sacrifice. You are an offering. You have abundance. You have overflow. And in your divining of your pleasure, remember that sacral chakra. I don't know. There's such a stuff going on here. Yeah. Rising on up and you feeling satisfied and happy. That is what is exalted. That is what is lifted up. That is what Jupiter is affording you here. The abundance. Look at that. Can you see it? You're the treasure. You're the treat. I want you to know I love you. Welcome to this Friday, the day that fries. Remember, they're timeless. Also, help us out here at the channel. If you click like or you share or you comment, even if the people don't tune in who you share it with, it begins to circulate these videos. That's YouTube's algorithm. So help the joy of the world get out there. That's the thing that begins to free everyone from this. And we can all begin to celebrate and our world becomes lighter and more beautiful because you are in it. I love you. Leave comments down below and stop by again real soon. Hey, thanks. Bye.